huh? Don't you read the papers? Just the sports section. These Nazi bastards are itching for a fight. If they get their wish, we're all gonna be out of a job. the border up ahead. Drive slow and try not to look suspicious. Right. I should have warned me leader, Hosen. I'm serious. These assholes are looking for any excuse to start shooting at them. They pass on the rise of the Pira. The Pira's shining in the border. Sorry. Not much farther now. I can smell the petrol fumes from here. You just keep your eyes on the track and the pedal to the floor, my friend. You let me worry about the rest. <laughs> you volunteering to be my manager? What's so funny? I didn't have to be a mechanic, you know. I could have done anything. The teacher used to say to me, Jules, all of these kids are stupid, especially your cousin Javier. But not you, Jules. You are too clever for your own good. I thought Veronique got the brains in the family. She likes to think so. What's her beef with me anyway? I can't put a foot right when she's around. Hey, it's not just you. Veronique is tough on men in general. Why's that? One of these days I'll take you to my family's cabaret in Paris, huh? Veronique was raised in the Belle de Nuit. <laughs> Let's just say it was uh, not your typical upbringing. Sounds like fun. My friend, you have no idea. First round's on me. I'm glad you finally decided to join us. We took the scenic route. You run into any trouble? Just the usual groupies, looking for autographs. A toast to Team Morini and Our Lady Aurora. To Signor Morini for taking a big chance on a dodgy bloke like me. Another round for me mates. Easy, Sean. You'll need a clear head tomorrow. Dirker flew in this morning from Berlin. Kurt Dirker? I thought he was retired. Speak of the devil. Guten Abend, Herr Morini. Always a pleasure to welcome one of our Italian friends to the Fatherland. I was just speaking of my admiration for General Mussolini. A kindred spirit to our own Führer. Your country is fortunate to have such a leader, yeah? Racing is my passion. I find little time for politics. Sometimes racing is politics. No. There is a difference. You must forgive my ignorance, Herr Morini. We Germans are a simple people. Perhaps you would enlighten us further? One's a hobby for rich assholes who can't get laid without a flashy car and a silly uniform. The other is racing. This must be that British mechanic who thinks he's a driver. I'm fucking Irish. It's getting late. Why did we call it a night? The night is young, Fräulein. Stay. Dine with me. I've no taste for German cuisine. Not yet, perhaps. But soon, the women of your country will learn to savor the taste of a purebred German bratwurst. Bast up! Get my crazy sister out of here before she gets herself killed! I am not going anywhere! Enough! I'm taking her upstairs! Last one's all freak! Easy, mate! Save some for me! Stay 
the fuck down. I don't think he can hear you. You fucked with the wrong crew. I fall him in the flanker. The barman's talking to the police. I'll take care of Veronique. You boys, get out of here. Jules, time to get scarce. Right behind you. You bloody fuck me, Skyler. Mm, are you chatting me up? Hello, Sean. Hi, Jules. Nailed. We'll catch up later. Right now, we need to borrow your car. Well, so much for awkward small talk. Drive the fucking car. Hold on to your arses. Just like old times, eh, Skyler? Never a dull moment. How long have you been in town? Mm, just got in, actually. I see you wasted no time running afoul of the local police. Oh, those fellas behind us, they're just having a laugh. Is this desperado routine meant to be a turn on? I don't know. Is it working? Will you watch the fucking world, please? The radio ahead to set up roadblocks. Double back and you should be able to slip through the net. They teach you that in your posh English school. Oh, benefits of a higher education. Are all English girls as crazy as you are? Give us a bit of privacy, would you, Jules? Oh, I'd love to, as soon as you check these crowds. Mm -hmm. 